welcome to another video and today we're going to experience Austria the Austrian way. <laughs> Day four, here we come. So it's four days now, consistently every day hitting the slopes. We usually have preferred to go in the morning and do a nice early morning uh, snowboard. And then we're gonna check into our new hotel, which we're very excited about. All right, so what you can see behind me now is Inner Alpbach. So that's where we went for lunch in the last vlog in Zermalm restaurant, which is very nice. There's a few nice bars and restaurants and kind of family friendly hotels and things down there. Like lunch? Coffee and a, and a light lunch. A light lunch. So yeah. we're at this station. Where? <laughs> Come on, try it, try it, try it. Where? Where been Dunks Bahn? fantastic thank you and the view from up here you guys is epic look at that Woo! the thing is when you snowboard it's very hot but when you sit down it gets very very cold so i think i'm just gonna stay like this Can you please tell us what traditional Austrian food have you ordered today? <laughs> so we're trying to keep it light and we've got some fries and I just decided to order the, some bread. Basically we made... Because I don't want to be hungry. We made the mistake the other day of having a massive meal for lunch and then you're just so slow and don't want to do anything. So we thought let's just like a quick light bite. I don't know why you not ordered a bread roll. I don't know either. <laughs> was that last run it was pure ice and we so, realized why every time we come on so like no one's on that and we came down and we realized why and it also makes you feel like such a beginner so we're at this bar Liftstuber 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 and it's the run towards this isn't it yeah, it's just right next to the bar and we didn't want to get in the lift we wanted to do it proper ski style so <laughs> here we are and, uh, we slid we, down the mountain for that last this. bit. <laughs> My butt earned this. <laughs> and now it's time to check in to our hotel. Welcome to the Boglerhof Hotel. Let's show you the view. Ooh. Wow. Right, guys, let's quickly show you inside before we live and sleep in this space. This is our room. It is stunning. Can we do a 360? Seeing my cameraman. <laughs> beautiful bed. Beautiful. Just the detail of this room is just stunning. get super excited when a room has coffee machines so this one has a coffee machine with the, the little pods um, and this was a little welcome so we have a little welcome card uh, which is so sweet and we have some treats look and because we came late we're actually checking in quite late we're gonna go and get our welcome drinks now uh, but first we want to change and just get ready for the night because we have some live music it's time for dinner, and one thing's for sure, Austrians know how to make good food. <laughs> this is what we look like wearing jumpers, guys. If you're new, we used to live in Kenya for two years, so winter attire. Let's go. We're lost already. <laughs> <laughs> it's that way, left, left, This left, hotel left. is big. So we still have a lot to explore. We literally just checked in. The lady earlier, I think she said there's about 75 rooms in this hotel. And from the outside, it looks like this cute little cozy hotel, but it's actually quite big. So. I don't know if this is like Austrian customs, but how cute is this? Like, 
Your surname is on the table waiting. At the other hotel, it was Adam's surname, so that was cool. Today is mine. I'm so excited. This place is so cool. I can't remember the name, but it's basically pork fat with pork crackling mixed in. And it's served on baguette. Yeah, served on bread. And? Because I've had this before. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> just want to say this place is so exceptional that we have to document every single second. We're going to have so. to. And something I haven't really experienced much before is to have a sommelier uh, in the restaurant. So they come and they go to whichever menu you choose with your food. They will pair a wine to each of your courses. So you've so got one I've type. I've got a specific wine based because on one of I, my starter, and Ina's got something because of her starter. I'm excited, how cool is this? Cheers, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> That was the best food experience we've ever had. I can't even walk in a straight line. Is that wine pairing? It's the wine pairing. But uh, there's live music going on right now, and apparently the dessert is upstairs. So we're making our way there, and then we need to go to bed. <laughs> Timmy. I don't know how to feel about this. There's so much to How many tables? One, two, six tables. three, four, five, six. We have so much going on. Let me just go like. So, brownies, chocolate cake, I don't know, some sort of cheesecakey kind of vibe. Hi. Hello. How was your dinner? Oh, so good. Lots of different cool little things happening, so. I just want to say actually, like, first impressions. I mean, bear in mind, we checked in this afternoon at like 4.30, 5 p.m. First impressions, wow. Like we've stayed in some extremely highly rated and luxurious accommodation before, but I don't think I've ever stayed somewhere you felt so looked after and where the staff were so attentive and caring. That's first impressions only. There's obviously a lot that can change, <laughs> but so far, like, that was one of the best evenings. But also the cool thing is how, you know, it's every business is a family affair. And mm. here we got greeted by the owner at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then you also said- The family- Work the, in the business. Literally they're active. They're not just executives that kind of tell people what to do. Uh -huh. The family have owned this for decades and they are still there greeting people in the restaurant. I believe our sommelier was, was part of the family as well. And they are running around, making sure that everybody's happy. Everybody's enjoying their food, enjoying their wine pairing, and yeah, just yeah. amazing. First few hours, and we're already blown away. Time to. It's time to, to hit the hay, and then hit the slopes in the morning. Let's go. So, one thing we've really been enjoying is the Austrian style of breakfasts. It's just so much variety, and it's just one of those things that really sets you up for the day. So cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And more wine. Can you show us the wine collection? Well, this is, but this is not the wine. This is not the wine collection. It's just like a little bit of the, the wine collection. We're going to see way more of the wine collection later um, down in the private cellar. This is what Adam's been having every morning. <laughs> You've got to embrace the the local the local food. traditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Food everywhere. No, I've got to say we love like, cold cuts, and this like Austria is all about the cold meats and the cheeses and stuff like that. So we're very happy. What have you got for us? These cute little smoothies. Are they smoothies? Yeah, smoothies. Oh, cool. Which Berry one's mine? Apricot. There you go. Am I getting the apricot? Yeah. Thank you so much. Cheers. 
Wow, well after that amazing breakfast, it's now time to go and hit the slopes and work up an appetite. And then this evening, we have a very special treat from the hotel. We are gonna be going down into their actual wine cellar and doing a wine and cheese experience. So really excited about that because this hotel, it's more than 400 years old. So there's a lot of history in these walls. So I'm really excited to go down into this old wine cellar and just really experience something unique. All right, so we're back at the hotel. I wanted to show you guys the gym. So we have a really cool gym down there. It's very well equipped. Let's go and relax in the sauna. The cool thing about this place is that you've got the, this like really beautiful and relaxed and chill out spot. steam. We're going to do the hot sauna and then afterwards there's a cold plunge right here which uh, Ina's going to test out. No you are, that's not me. <laughs> that was the most shocking experience of my life. I have never done that before. Whew, intense. Whew. Right, so we're back from the spa and feel invigorated and revitalized. And now we're very excited because we get to do quite a unique experience. We are going down into the hotel's wine cellar to do a wine and cheese pairing, which all sounds very fancy and cultured and something that Ina and I have never done before. So yeah, exciting stuff. We're gonna quickly grab some food. Today has been a little bit rushed because we're running around like crazy trying to get everything done. There's a lot to do here in Outback. For a small village, there is just so much to see and so much to do. Let's go and drink some wine. Are you excited? So excited. Have you ever done a wine tasting? No. And this is the one thing that we always wanted to do. We've been together almost 10 years and we've never done it, so. Now is our time. So um, it has similarities to Burgundy grapes. Um, so they are not so intense in aroma. And what Neuburger often brings out is, is a, a very elegant, nutty aroma. experience really cool actually it was very nice I'd never really taken the time to drink wine and eat cheese let's say taste wine and eat cheese it was really nice that, that cellar is beautiful like hundreds and hundreds of bottles of wine in there so Austrian wines particularly From various regions and mm -hmm. various I think they have some other other countries of wines in there as well but yeah. the, the ones we were drinking tonight were all and last night Austrian actually. yeah really nice I had fun I'm looking forward to some more at dinner time in is proposing a, a pretzel fight. And the loser the should loser. get a shot of like the local hard alcohol. The loser should have to spend five minutes in the ice bath. No, because that, <laughs> that probably means what about two minutes? going into like hypothermia. <laughs> no. Okay, on guard. round one. I'm getting a bit nervous. Ready? <laughs> oh, one. Ready? <laughs> two. <laughs> You're allowed to hit me next. Ready? Three. Oh. <laughs> Where is it? Two, one. Two, one. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> one more. Two, one. Two, one. One, two, three. You broke. Mm -mm. You broke. No, you just broke it. You broke. You broke. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get you a shot of something. Don't ask me what it is until I'm back. So Hans is sorting us out with a shot. And he said that there's only 16 farmers that are allowed to make it. 
So there you go. There you go. It's very so so wait, t- tell me about this. What is it? Tell us more. It's Krautinger. So this is the word. Vilcinal is the, the valley where it's from. It's, if you, if you dra- ski up the Schatzberg, you ski down the other valley, that's where this schnapps comes from. And our inferior back in the days, Marie Therese, she exclusively gave the right to 16 farmers producing this schnapps. And they are really proud of it. It's basically like medicine, I would say. He'll Fantastic. be very proud yeah. of drinking yeah. this. I'm, I'm pretty sure he will. <laughs> Let's go. Enjoy. Shall I sip or shall I? No, uh, no, you down it. Tell us. What, what do you think? <laughs> I've had worse. Like that's. Is that right? Wait, can yeah, I, is there like anything? Yeah, it's not as bad as the smell, right? Mm, yeah. Oh my. God. It's earthy. It's really earthy. Yeah. Um, it's earthy. It is earthy. But I also am pretty I'm good glad with shots. <laughs> another delicious dinner but how cool is this so they give you a postcard that they will send to your family for free we just need to go and put the address and i'm gonna send it to my mom what if i told you it was now two weeks since we've been home from austria and what if i told you that we cannot for the life of us find the outro (laughs) to this vlog and we are pulling our hair out well i don't have much hair anyway We're pulling our hair out, trying to find the outro to this vlog and it's vanished. So here I am anyway, back in the UK. It's gray and miserable and we wish we were back in Austria. We wish we were back at the Boglehof Hotel. I wanted to kind of wrap up and explain a little bit about what we loved so much about this particular hotel. So first off, I want to say that we didn't quite know what to expect from the Boglehof Hotel. We had a little look online and we were trying to work out kind of the vibe there. It looks quite kind of traditional and we sort of, we weren't sure the level of the hotel, but we really wanted to go and explore it and have a look because it was, it scored amazing reviews online. And I have to say, from the moment we stepped inside the door, we realized that this is going to be one of the best hotels that we've ever stayed in. It's a family owned hotel and you can tell that the team that are there feel very close to the family and very passionate about their jobs. They took care of us from the second we walked in the door, uh, throughout the entire meal, the experiences that they were offering and the service that they were offering us was just amazing. There were so many cool things about this hotel. The sommelier, I think I said that correctly, Hans, who was there, he would come over at dinner and encourage you to pair certain wines with your food and it really worked we tried a a bunch of different wines with our food and he really knows what he's talking about he made dinner an entirely new experience that actually we've never had before which brings us on to the food itself the food in the restaurant at the Boglehof was some of the best food we've had anywhere around the world so we were super super happy we left with very full bellies and very happy mouths in terms of the taste and the quality of the food and yeah just a very very good restaurant experience the spa was one of our favorite things that we did there the abundance of different saunas and steam rooms and the cold plunge which you guys will have seen was a really nice experience especially after a long day on the slopes coming back and just relaxing for a couple of hours was super cool so all in all we had an amazing time at the Bogelhof and yeah we want to say a huge thank you because it really made our week staying there we had an absolute blast and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching our stay there as well and if you did like this video please as usual we'd love for you to just click that like button and if you're not already subscribed to our channel welcome we hope you enjoyed the video check out some more of our videos this is actually the second or third third video in our austria series so i'm gonna link the entire playlist at the top of the video so you can start from vlog one and watch the whole thing it's four episodes long and we had a lot of fun and we hope you do too so that's it for now thanks a lot see you next time